everyone, it's Presley at EctoGames.com here and it's Craft Monday. And today I'm going to show you one of my favorite crafts from the Girls and Science event at the Nature and Science Museum. schedule which is Toy Monday, Craft Saturday, and Science Sunday. They're all really really fun but what we like even better is combining them all. We combined craft and toys when making a Claudine bed. We combined science we combined science and toys by making a little Monster High segue for Draculaura and the Gyrobot video and today we are mixing crafts and science because we are making a binary bracelet. Like I said, all of the credit goes to Girls and Science. It is something we saw at our favorite booth there, and we really enjoyed it, so I just wanted to share it with you guys so we could show you and do it more instead of exclusively at the event. So we're gonna talk a little more about binary later in the more sciencey part of the video at the end, but for now we're gonna do the craft. So all you have to know is binary is a way of counting. And in binary it takes five digits to count to 26, which is the number of letters in an outfit. So we're gonna use five beads for each letter. So one is A, two is B, three is C, and so on and so on. So there are only two numbers in binary, zero and one. So since we're representing this in beads, you only need two colors of beads, and I'm using orange and black because they are my favorite colors. And so we made this cheat sheet, which shows what letters and what B combinations to use. So I'm gonna be using black for one and orange for zero. So, so A is orange, 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 black which translates to A because it is how you make one in binary and A is the first letter of the alphabet so it just works. And so the first letter I'm going to be doing is P which is which is going to be black, orange, 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 orange. So I'm going to do P for Poochon. I'm going to put Poochon on my bracelet. So we're going to post the link to the cheat sheet in the doobly-doo so you can see that and see what combinations are the right ones for your bracelets or necklaces. You can do bracelets, necklaces, headbands, anything. As long as you do string and beads, you can make pretty much anything out of this. So I added my P and P is one zero 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 zero. So I did black, orange, 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 orange for my P. So this is the first letter I'm gonna be spelling out pooch on. So the next one I have to do is U, which is black, orange, black, orange, black. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and I'll show you once I put the pooch on together. So I finished my bracelet, I followed the cheat sheet, and I made it say Puchan. And it's kind of cool how it looks random, so you and only other people that know what this is and speak binary know what this says, so it's kind of like a secret message, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to put a clamp on it and put it on to show you what the finished product looks like. We decided to make it a necklace because the string was really long and I'm more likely to wear this as a necklace than as a bracelet because I'll wear a bracelet for like a few minutes but I'll keep a necklace on for days and days and days. So I actually might make some of these that say act out games and take them to VidCon and give them to you guys if you go to VidCon. And I find it awesome that this, only I know what it says and now you know what it says too. And I actually might make one that says Potato Cat for me and my friend because it's kind of a thing going on with me and my friend is Potato Cat. So we'll just have Potato Cat friendship bracelets. That would be amazing. So now we're going to head upstairs and use the whiteboard and show a little more about how binary works. It won't be too long. It'll only be a couple minutes. It won't be an hour's like lecture on this is binary. It'll just be a couple minutes on learning the basics of binary. So like Presley said, we're just going to do a quick little thing on what binary means. Um, you can definitely do more research on it, but it's pretty cool to kind of know what's going on when we talk about binary. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we use what's called a base 10 number system, which means we have 10 digits. And then when you hit the 10th digit, so let's, we have zero through nine are our digits, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I do something? So. And at first you might be kind of confused as, how is this a 10? There's only nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
eight, nine, ten. That's right. Just in case you weren't counting the zero. So when you when you count these zero, we have ten numbers. digits that we can count with, right? Eight numbers. And so when you get to nine and you want to go past nine, uh, what you have to do is add a new row. So that's when we bring in the one and we start over and we do this sequence again. Zero, so zero, one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, right. so on, so on. So we have nine digits and then you flip over, or yeah, 10 digits, and then you flip over and you start doing the next set, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, the fact that we have base 10, so we use 10 digits, and then we flip over is kind of an arbitrary decision. There's nothing sort of in nature that makes us use 10. You could do six or you could do seven. We, it, we, just saying we sound sort of weird, like our family uses 10, <laughs> right. families can use eight. Humanity. <laughs> and like, maybe it's because we have 10 fingers, right? We have we 10 fingers. fingers. or something, right? But we can count 100 It could be anything, right? So it could be like you could have four. So it could go one, two, three, four. And if you pretended there were no numbers bigger than four, now 10 comes right there. Mm -hmm. Or else the zero. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So then, you know, that's when you bring the one back over. Then you would have 11. It's actually not that hard. Like, you could have a family decision on how many numbers you use. And then when you hit here again, you can't, there's no five. You can't go to five. So suddenly you go to 100. Do, do, do. Right? And so 100 no longer means what we think of as 100. It means, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 100 would be 10. In that system, ten. right? In a base five system. So binary is that exact same thing, but it's base two. So you only have two Zero digits, and ones. zeros and ones, right? <laughs> and so here we'll keep a tally of what these mean. So that that obviously means zero. That means one. You don't have a two to go to. Mm -hmm. So you suddenly go to this, and that equals two. Yeah. And then you bring back, and that goes to three. And now you've got nowhere else to go. So suddenly one hundred is, is four. four, right? And then 101 is 5. Is 5. 1, 1, 10 is 6. 1, 1, 1 is 7. And now that's full. There's no 2s to go to. So now you get 1,000. Which means 8. Which is 8. Right? So suddenly. Wait, this is how you count in binary. This is counting in binary. That's right. 1, 10, 11, 100, 101. That's right. 110, 1, 1, 1,000. So to count to 8, you need 4 digits. Yes. Or as like in our system, eight is one digit. We have an eight for it, right? Okay. In binary, you need four digits to count to eight. <laughs> and so uh, in, to count to 26, like we talked about, to get the letters of the alphabet, you need five. Yeah, so, put 26 there. Oh, there's no two. There's no two. It's just counting one, 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 right? So you need these five digits to be able to count. You can count, actually count higher than 26 with all the ones, but to get to 26, you have to have five digits. Yes. And so this is exactly why uh, the bracelet works and why the binary works and how the numbering system how you can count in binary and you can count higher and higher and higher and keep going um, But the base 2 system is exactly why it works and so uh, Now that you've seen this and you know how to count this way uh, we will post on the uh, on the screen We'll put up one of the most famous binary jokes. I was just telling you about the t-shirt There's a t-shirt you can get at think geek that has a binary joke on it We'll post it and now you'll be one of the people that gets it. Yeah, right Cool. So that's it for today. Thank you so much if you stayed with us through the science part. If not, then you're probably not seeing this right now. But thank you so much for watching this video and doing all the science stuff. Of course, the cheat sheet is in the description. You can download that, make your own bracelet, tell me what it means and what colors you used. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! It's time to press the subscribe button. Subscribe button, subscribe button, subscribe, subscribe, bye bye.